Welcome back to the Live, Build, Change podcast. Are you ready to start the day wisely? Are you ready to have yourself aimed in the direction that God has for your day? That's the way of wisdom. It's not the way of foolishness. I mean, that's just laughable, isn't it? To think that God wants us to live a foolish life. Well, that's the opposite of wisdom. And there's really no in between. You're not kind of wise or kind of foolish. You're just foolish or you're wise. That's the way life goes. And so we've been looking at the Proverbs with a desire to glean from this amazing book the things that we need to understand about how to live a wise life. And I want to look today at a proverb that is one of those that is teaching a general truth. And it's a truth that can be applied in circumstances, but more broadly, to the attitude of our own hearts. Let's look at it. It's Proverbs chapter 9, verse number 9. It says, Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be still wiser. Teach a righteous man, and he will increase in learning. So what is this proverb really trying to teach us? Is it trying to teach us how to instruct a wise man or how to teach a righteous man? Well, partly, but it's using that situation primarily as an example for us of what it's like to be a wise man and what characterizes a righteous man. You see, the point he's making is that someone who is wise realizes they need instruction. They need to continue to learn. You know, sometimes in the Christian life, it can become kind of tedious and exhausting to always be learning, to always feel like we're not there yet. We need to grow more. But I think that little catch in your spirit, when you start feeling that weariness or that tediousness, is an indication that we're moving away from wisdom and toward foolishness because we're beginning to see ourselves in a wrong light. We're beginning to see that, hey, I'm doing fine. I don't need to keep learning. When the reality is our place in creation is that of a creature, not the creator. We are limited. We are in need. And even the wisest among us needs instruction. And a truly wise person understands that and submits to that gladly because he knows he will be wiser still when he receives instruction. The second phrase of the proverb says, teach a righteous man and he will increase in learning. You see, this wisdom that we're talking about is a characteristic of a righteous life. Righteousness, wisdom, they go together. And increasing in wisdom and increasing in learning is part of what characterizes those who truly are seeking to be wise, truly seeking to be righteous. So I want to stop for a moment and ask you a question. Think about your own attitude about growth and about learning. Can you honestly say that you have this attitude that Solomon characterizes as the attitude of a wise man? That you need instruction, you need encouragement, you need learning. Or do you have an attitude where you say to yourself and even to others, who does he think he is trying to tell me how to do this? Or it's my life, I'll live it the way I want to live it. Ah, you know, there's something in that response that smacks of foolishness, that indicates wisdom has not taken root. So I'm going to ask you to carefully and cautiously evaluate yourself and ask the Holy Spirit to guide you so that you can live this day with an attitude of humble wisdom that says, I want to learn from the circumstances I go through. I'm going to learn from the people around me. And in so doing, become wiser, become more knowledgeable so that I can be a blessing in God's hand to other people. That's where I want to leave you today. And I encourage you, pass this audio along to someone you think might be in need of it today. And join me again tomorrow for the Morning Mindset Edition of the Live, Build, Change podcast.